Hey, hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to implement the most important thing for any application and that is authentication and authorization. Guys, I would want to take this uh, parking management system application as an example for implementing authentication authorization, right? So this application is both the back end and front end that I have developed as two playlists. So if you want to see those playlists, I will add that in the description box. Okay. So in the parking management system, uh, have I am developing uh, what uh, login and register system that is an authentication system, right? So that uh, it will validate the login user and also it allows the users to register themselves with their uh, roles okay so if you take this parking management system I have created a model called user profile so i have uh, created all these fields with schema so i'm going to add some more fields to this existing uh, model the first field is going to be password is going to be what so we say comma it is going to be type string because we know password will be of type string and required is true. So as we already done this, um, password is required. So I'm not going to do any rejects validation here right now. Okay, so it is going to have mintlin 6. So I'm not going to enforce any rule as of now, but it is going to be done in the later stage. Okay. And uh, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is reset password token, right? So this is very helpful when you uh, reset your password. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you when that exact scenario comes. So right now it is going to be string and reset password expire right so our password will expire uh, at a certain time right so we are going to do manage that also in this application right it's going to be really interesting guys so I have done with what the model so earlier we created some fields like username, mobile, date of joining, address, role, so all these things. But uh, these three columns, I feel it is also needed for any application whenever uh, we authenticate some user, right? So the next thing is I, I'm going to the controllers and I'm going to create a file called auth.js, right? So the auth.js, I'm going to import uh, the error response and the async handler that we did already, right? Uh, this auth.js, so I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to bring the model user profile. So I'm going to say users, right? So it can be of uh, plural also, can be singular also, so we can say user right but i'm saying user so when you get uh, all the users it seems to be a little meaningful right so uh so i'm going to the models folder okay and uh, i'm going to bring up the user profile js file right we have already done this in many of the controllers uh, functions Right, so I'm going to say exports dot register user. So the first uh, controller that we are going to create is register user for handling the register request. So whenever the user registers himself to this application, okay, we have to have an uh, backend API that handles that request of registration. Okay, next, right? Hope you are understanding what I'm doing because have, we have seen this already. Uh, so response dot status of 200, right? The status code is going to be 200. 
dot json sucks json is going to success is going to be true and data is going to be request dot body so i'm going to save this uh, save this hard.js file now i go to the routes uh, the routes i'm going to say auth.js right so the auth.js i'm going to import express so this is the practice we did uh, in all of our routes files right so i'm going to import express and i'm going to say cons router is equal to express dot router right and i'm going to bring in the controller function require dot dot slash controllers slash auth right and i'm going to say router dot post of slash register so whenever we get a request called register i'm going to call a uh, what a controller function called register user okay that we that we import from the controllers folder and i'm going to export it module dot export equal to router right i'm saving this now i go to index.js not index.js app.js okay so we already have slots um roles and permissions uh, i'm going to bring in what the auth also here the routes for handling the register functionality okay so i'm going to say auth equal to require dot slash routes slash auth okay so whenever i get the request uh request of a pms slash okay i'm going to copy this so whenever i get the request like this okay i'm going to redirect that to the auth routes save it right perfect so now i'm going to the postman we already saw the postman thing so in the auth okay so i created a folder called auth inside it have a register user function okay so i'm going to the database in the roles i'm going to click on apply so there are two roles and i'm going to copy the first role which is super admin okay so the id of super admin right so i'm going to log in as a super admin right username is shaktivel mobile is 9677130199 and password is naren123 right and i'm going to have a one more field called is active so i'll check the mongodb collection sorry model of user profile so is active is there yeah is active is there right we are sending password role a uh, mobile and username as a input along with is active true okay so is active is going to be true perfect so i'm going to send it as a post request okay because we are going to save this user and also we are going to uh, validate whether this user is a valid user okay also whether this user is already registered right so let me check what happens when i click on send right so 
I go here, okay. Let me say, click on send. Let's see what happens. So the request is called. Yeah. So the success is true. So I'm going to check whether those data got inserted in the Mongoose collection. Okay. So I go to. Uh, sorry, I'm going to refresh the MongoDB. So we have the user profile collection here, but it didn't get inserted in the collection, right? So the reason here is we have not inserted the record to the Mongo's collection. Uh, we are just uh, displaying the record as a data, right? So I'm going to insert it. Uh, so I'm going to show you object destructuring here. So if you know ES6 JavaScript, it will be uh, easy for you. But if you don't know what is object destructuring, I'm going to explain it here. So I'm going to bring out all the fields that I pass as data, okay, uh, through this API, password and is active. So these are the five fields I'm sending as the data to this API. So I'm going to uh, destructure this object. So as I already told you, request.body is nothing but the input data that is sent as an what? As a parameter to this API. So this data is sent along with this API as a uh, data parameter, right? So it is captured in the backend with the help of request.body and I have destructured it, destructured in the sense these are the five values that exist inside this request.body object. So I have just, just simplified it. Okay. So here, the next step, I'm going to insert the record. So it is going to be const user is equal to await users.create. Okay. We already know create will insert this record to the database. So the first field is username and the next is mobile and the next is role and the next is password. Okay, and the last one is going to be is active. Right, so I've created the users, right? So this piece of code will insert these five fields to the database. I'm going to what? Uh, send this inserted record as a response to this API. Okay. Right. So I'm going to call this API now. I'm going to insert this record to the MongoDB collection, user profiles collection. Right. So when I click on send this time, so this time you see, uh, you see what success is true. We got username, password, role is the role that we copied from the Mongoose collection. Okay, roles collection and password is what we sent here. Narain123. His profile completed is false. Okay, so I go to the model. Uh, model user profile, yeah. So is profile completed, default is false. That's why we have uh, false here. Right, is active is true, and this is a user ID created for this record. Okay, so the underscore ID is nothing but the ID that is created by the MongoDB itself, right? And created at modified, updated at. Since we passed time pass timestamps true, we got created at and updated at, right? Perfect. So, uh, as you can see. I have not uh, asked the password here, right? So whenever user sends the password as an input, we should not save the same text to the database. Instead, we have to ask the password, right? So for asking the password, I'm going to add a piece of middleware, which is called bcrypt.js, okay? So we don't have to do anything. We are just going to uh, import this NPM package to our application and that package will 
uh, adds the password and store it to the database whenever the user is created right so uh, i'm not going to do that hashing password in the same video so i'm going to do that in the next video so we'll see bcrypt.js the next video on the way to hash the password so that a password gets hashed and encrypted so that it will not be easy for the hackers to what uh, read the password easily from the collection right so we'll see uh, the hashing password in the next video guys so stay tuned for my next video thank you guys bye